It was a night full of surprises, and we're not just talking about the award ceremony there in Los Angeles. That's right. We're talking about the first ever Andy Awards. It was a chance to look back at some of the best moments from Good Day Oregon. I also made a special appearance with some big news of my own. Take a look. We have our very first VIP of the evening here on the PDX carpet. One of our own from the Fox 12 family, Nora Hart. Nora, welcome to the first annual Andes. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Now, I wouldn't be a good uh, carpet correspondent if I didn't ask, who are you wearing tonight? Okay, so this is actually a custom piece from the fall line of um, from motherhood, maternity. Um, oh, breaking news! Yeah, thank you. My date suggested it, my little date. Congratulations. Okay, well, we are so glad to have you here. Now, there's a reason, besides this, the fact that we love being around Nora, she's here for a very important reason. You and I were both actually on an Emmy-nominated show, a show that was nominated tonight, right? Tell us what that show was. Documentary Now. Doc yeah. Documentary Now was nominated for Best Variety Sketch Series. If you're not familiar, it runs on IFC. Let's show you some clips of Nora, myself, and actually another member of the Fox 12 family that was on Documentary Now this year. Check this out. The road to the championship. And it won't be an easy road for these bowlers who have arrived from all over the country. Great lane level, look at it. Hustles right into the pocket. But now they've installed these speed bumps. So many speed bumps, 500 feet worth to be exact. We decided to take the News 9 van over the speed bumps to give you an idea of what it feels like. Back to you, Bob. Bob Arnight made it clear that when it comes to judgy car pumpkins, Mayor Middleton doesn't know Jack. O'Lantern. Oh, Myself and uh, Brian McMillan from Fox 12, we're all on Documentary Now. Tell us about the episode that you're on. If people are not familiar, it's kind of a fake comedic documentary show. Each episode's a different one. What was the episode on? Who did you play? So the episode that I played in, I can't actually say the name of it. You cannot because of FCC regulations. Yes, we'd get in big trouble. My boss would not be happy with me. But it, it's a hilarious show. The episode I was on was written by Seth Meyers. It featured a lot of celebrities, Michael Keaton, Owen Wilson, who I actually got to meet. But the whole thing was a parody of Wild Wild Country, which, you know, discusses the Rajneesh and everything that happened in Eastern Oregon. And it was very time specific, right? 1980s reporter you played. That's right. So an 80s reporter, you probably saw the hair, the wig. That was special. That was a wig. Yes, Joe. That, that was absolutely yeah, a Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. that. Not my hair. Okay. And now, I was on a show, uh, the episode I was on called uh, Any Given Saturday Afternoon. It was a sports documentary about the world of bowling. Myself and Kevin Calabro, the play-by-play -play man from the Blazers, we were the uh, kind of the sports center play-by-play uh, yeah, -play people on that. It was just a really incredible uh, experience. So, so funny. It yeah. was so funny. Great crew. Was so excited to be a part of it. And uh, the news, Nora, tonight, it was nominated for Best Variety show and it lost oh. to Saturday Night Live as if they needed another Emmy. Okay, but we lost to the best, I guess. But, I mean, you have to be proud of that, Joe. It yeah. was such a cool experience. You know, some people say, Nora, it's an honor to be nominated. Yeah. I don't buy that. You guys blew it, Emmy voters. You oh. blew it. All right, Nora, next time. We'll get them. Yeah, right. Appreciate it. So that was Nora live last night. Now she's live here right now. Yeah, it was so much fun. And people are so sweet. I have to say, viewers have been commenting on Facebook and asking, like, especially when I stand to the side, you can kind of see uh -huh. my little accessory here. <laughs> but yes, I guess cat's out of the bag. Expecting a little one in February. Congratulations, the secret's out. Thank you. Thank yeah. you guys so you much. excited? I'm so oh, excited. Yeah. I don't know if I'm having a boy or a girl yet. I find out in a week and a half. Oh, so it's that close? Only 10 days away? Yeah. I can't hey, wait. Could be a little Nora. I know. We'll have to maybe place our bets. I don't know. We'll <laughs> oh, see. That's yeah, a good okay. Idea. I think I wager, know. Huh? I think I know, but we'll oh, see. Oh, we you do? Oh, I'm, I'm excited to hear what you hold think. The, uh, hold the clicker nearby and see which way it goes. And if it goes left, <laughs> it's a boy yeah, or a girl. That's right. Yeah. Got